So I haven't done an update to this video in a long time, so I figured today would be a good day. So here's what it looks like to run a business. So first things first, an absolute crucial part of making sure that you stay productive is to have a schedule and more importantly, set a schedule for yourself. Having a set schedule not only makes sure that you stay productive, but if you have any employees with you, it makes sure that they stay accountable to know you arrive when you're supposed to arrive, so they need to arrive when they need to arrive as well. One thing you'll notice about my calendar is that it is full and it should always be full in my opinion. Whether I actually have meetings or anything to do is one thing, but I should be filling the schedule at all times with something that is productive. And more importantly, putting that in the calendar is a crucial part of actually making sure that I keep busy and that I keep productive. My day was scheduled yesterday for today. That's a huge part. Schedule it the day before so that you can wake up ready to go into your game plan. But the meeting went great. It is now 10 o'clock and on my calendar for the next 15 minutes, 10, 15 to 10, 30 is YouTube comments and social media. I think it's important to realize that you can spend time on social media and spend time commenting back to things and, and interacting with people. I put that on my calendar every day to interact back and forth with you that watch this channel and it's important to realize that that's not wasted time if you schedule it and if there's purpose behind it. I feel it's important to connect with people who watch my channel. When you put it on your calendar and you make it a part of your day rather than just letting it eat up your day, it becomes more productive and it also doesn't feel like it's a waste of time because you planned for it. So that's what I do. Okay, so I responded back to as many of you as possible. It's now time for another meeting. This one at 11 o'clock, as you can see next on my calendar. Here we go. This is a FaceTime call, it looks like, with a bride and groom. Moving right along in the day, 12 o'clock, lunch. It's now one o'clock, 30 quick minutes of editing before we have a little filming. So let's do what we can. Mr. Murray. How are you doing, my friend? How you doing? Good. A beautiful day. I know, how about it? Okay, well, the shoot went well. Part of the reason why I think it'd be really cool to have someone film a lot more behind the scenes for us and what we're hoping to do very soon is that reason. It's pretty awkward to just cut right to back to when the shoot was done. Really, really want to do that, so more news to come on that, but shoot went good, time to edit. Okay, knocked out a little editing. Successful day so far. On to another meeting. This one's four o'clock sharp. Part of what makes some of my life a little bit crazy right now is the fact that I kind of am juggling about essentially four different main things. I have 4LC Studios, I have my YouTube channel, I have Wedding Film School, which is its own kind of company, and then I also work part-time, but really just for fun, I serve at the church, which is another big piece of things. So some of these seasons can be a little crazy and, and sometimes at, at times overwhelming because there's so many things simultaneously happening that I'm trying to process my brand around so in a day like today I can go from filming and editing to have to plan meetings and things for Christmas prep that's happening and videos that are happening for that while simultaneously juggling like current YouTube stuff and wedding film school workshop this weekend just gets a little busy <laughs> So that takes us to now, 7.15 p.m. Just put the kids to bed and I'm back in the office. I am not always back in the office. I try my very best to really find balance in life. There are times that I'm back in here working. There are other times that I'm back inside hanging out. Every day is so different for me. It really depends on what the day is. Today was a day that had a lot more meetings than normal. It had filming in the middle of it. It had editing in in the middle of it. It was really kind of all over the place and pretty typical in the manner that there's nothing predictable but that's also kind of what being an entrepreneur is all about. At the end of the day, here's what I really hope I can give you as a takeaway to this video. What you probably notice and hopefully you notice is the fact that I plan out every aspect of my day the night before and I do my very best to execute and stay on task for what I'm supposed to be doing. I think it's really easy as entrepreneurs or as business owners or anyone who creates your own schedule. It's really easy to take advantage of the fact that you create your own schedule 
by feeling like the ultimate freedom is to have nothing on your schedule and just kind of do whatever you want on a per day basis. See, it's great to be able to control your own schedule. That's obviously what everyone always says is their dream. But at the end of the day, you also create and decide your own destiny in terms of success versus failure. I think what I see happen so often to so many entrepreneurs that are my age and people that are just getting into it, it's so easy for them to get into this mentality that I have the ultimate freedom so I'll wake up a little later and I'll go into work a little later or maybe I'll just work from home and I'll just kind of stay in my pajamas and I'll just do stuff and I'll just enjoy the freedom of having my own business. But that doesn't always get you anywhere either with your actual business. It requires work, it requires dedication, and it requires you being accountable for yourself to actually do work. Something as simple as a principle that I've had from day one of being full-time working for myself is that I never work in like pajamas. I never just kind of crawl out of bed and go to work and, and work from there just because I can. I always put on clothes, I get ready to work, I act professional even in my own like setting, even to my own employees, even to anyone that I interact with. I do my best to always be in a business mindset when I'm working so that I can really stay focused on what I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to get to with my business. You have to remember that while it's awesome to be your own boss and decide what you do with your time, you also have to realize that it's not super fun if no work comes in and you have to go out of business and get a full-time job, again, working for somebody else. Don't become someone who gets in the mentality that once you're your own boss, it's smooth sailing. It became so much more work and so much harder for me to be my own boss than it was to work for somebody. Sometimes I think about how awesome it would be to actually be able to mentally like check out when you clock out at 5 p.m. and then just check out entirely and go back to work at 9 a.m. and know that Friday at five o'clock, it is just the weekend and you just do whatever you want and you enjoy your time and you go back and everything else is someone else's responsibility. But if you have dreams, if you want to be your own boss, if you want to be the person in charge, know that that comes with a lot of responsibility and it comes with a lot of accountability on yourself because when you are the top person and no one has a higher say than you, you ultimately are in complete control. I can decide when I work, what I do with my time, who I'm gonna hire, who needs to do the work that I don't feel like doing. That is entirely my control. I have full control of who does what in my company at all times. That may sound really exciting to you, but also understand that when stuff is not so good, when money starts to decrease because people aren't doing a good job, you hired them. And when income starts to go down and you still have overhead of employees, well, it's your fault. It's your responsibility. You can't blame it on someone else. You can't blame it on another situation. It's all your fault. I love that responsibility because I feel like I'm gifted in some of those things to be able to successfully run a business. I'm realizing more and more, the more that I let my schedule be flexible, the less I actually get done. The more that I actually dedicate time to making sure that every minute of the day is accounted for, the more that I actually have success in my day and in my week and in my company. So I hope this was somewhat helpful to you just to get a feel for what it looks like on an everyday basis. I'm juggling a lot of things right now, all things I really love doing, but at the end of the day, it's not always easy to juggle. And I'm realizing more and more the better that I am with planning out my day in its entirety the night before and making sure that I have a game plan when I wake up, the more productive I stay. When I wake up and my calendar is empty and full of free time, what that usually translates to is that I actually just do a whole lot of nothing and I waste a lot of time. There is always work to be done 24 hours a day as a boss. If I don't currently have clients and jobs to do, then I should be working on putting out videos for myself or practicing or getting better at shooting or editing or selling or social networks, whatever it is, you need to always be looking to improve in everything that you do. So if you own a company, you better realize that you should never actually have free time outside of time that you set as free time because there's always work to be done. Let's do some work.